friends how are you today welcome to sunshine kitchen now this is a part of our business where all we're presenting is everything african foods and the whole idea is to actually show you what we call fine dining with african food so african food fine dining whichever way you want to put it we want to really celebrate african food make it look beautiful make it look glamorous and let it taste amazing you know bring attention to african food because we notice that people tend to think that the foods in africa are boring are bland are tasteless are um i don't know too many too many negatives and we want to take all of that we want to bring all the positives to it so my name is joy fido welcome on board okay so the focus of this particular video we we thought of something really exciting and yes we've done a bit of looking around research and we really didn't find it so we thought yes we're gonna really be the ones to first do this we're looking at the three course one two three course nigerian dish so it's gonna be exciting so um let me let me tell you what the three course is gonna be so for starters it's gonna be pepper soup pepper soup is this delicacy we have in nigeria um the main ingredient there is pepper that's why they say pepper soup now with pepper soup there's so many things you can make with pepper soup it could be fish pepper soup it could be goat meat pepper soup it could be oxtail pepper soup it could be regular meat pepper soup um then there's so many little little things again that people look at like a mixture um you know we have what they call the pomo uh, these are like cow skin we have what they call tribe which is the belly in the skin in the cow and the heart the liver you know all the different things so they mix it all up and they create the same kind of soup that we're talking about the pepper soup part of it so the one we are going to be making for this particular three course meal is an oxtail pepper soup i'm going to make it that all right i'm still trying to explain our three course meal so Start as is pepper soup. The main dish is jollof rice. Jollof rice, yes, it's quite popular in Nigeria. And we have so there's so many videos on jollof rice. But we are gonna bring our angle to jollof rice. So jollof rice and we're gonna garnish it with plantain and then beside it there's gonna be some sweet peppers and things like that. And then we're going to now put like a really beautiful sauce made of meat um be, you know tribe and you know a mixture of meat on the side in this beautiful jollof rice dish and then for the main you know we don't need starters we don't need main so for the sweet the last one is gonna be puff puff and puff puff is quite popular again uh, people make them in so many different ways we're not going to show that one being made we will show, we're going to show you that that's going to be what we're using as the third course so puff puff and we're going to add some you know you know beautifully design it so it stands out you know what you can eat in a five-star hotel so that's the whole idea so stay tuned and, and look out for this three course nigerian dish okay so here are our ingredients for our pepper soup and you know like we said pepper is the main thing so pepper and this is cut bonnet and we are going with three now if you're used to nigerian dishes you know they come out really hot and when we say hot we're not talking heat hot we're talking sauce hot and what creates that heat is the pepper so every typical nigerian home you start grooming your child to get used to the heat now this is a little secret if you want to lose weight apparently heat is one of the things you need in your body because it helps to encourage that activity in your body and you know your your body is quite your blood is flowing really quickly moving around and allowing your food to assimilate and all of that because of the heat that we eat that doesn't mean no nigerian is you know on the, on the plum side we are but it's just that's what we're told okay so after the pepper is the main thing you want to make the pepper soup with which is where the protein comes in okay so what we have here is the oxtail that's what they look like um what we've done here we've 
parboil this one actually seasoned it and simmered it and steamed it you can see when it's getting when it's really done the beef or the meat completely starts to go away from the bone that's when you know your uh, meat is ready generally so that's what your oxtail looks like it's already been steamed so now we're just about getting ready to do the pepper soup but we've done quite a few videos showing you how to steam meat so that was exactly the same process we used you know wash your meat put it in the pot um, put a hint of spice a, you know all kinds of things salt a hint of pepper if you feel like it and um, the reason for all of that the spices and the salt and the seasoning you just saw that all of that gets into the meat so now by the time we're cooking this meat it's already very tasty so that's what we've done here so now we're going to start with the pepper soup process okay so the next big thing is your pepper soup spice um here they've called it powder that's what you can see here what 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 it is normally all these things that you're seeing that have been put in here are individual individual things um ingredients that what they do typically back in nigeria is they mix them all up and then they blend or grind it and then it becomes what you're seeing as a powder so lots of people nowadays are just mixing all of this together blending it together and packaging it and packaging it so that's what we've got here so um unfortunately i don't have each of these ingredients to show you but going forward in future we may have to find them and i'll show you each of them but for now when you go to the market if you wanted to cook this just look out for it pepper soup spice powder it's all nicely put together and you just work with it so that's the main thing here the next big thing which are things we use generally will be the garlic garlic is there we're going to blend that um seasoning which we've already put in there um then the usual thing again which is optional depending on who's cooking pepper soup some people when they're cooking pepper soup this is the only thing they use just the pepper soup spice and that's it but some people like i like to do i bring the usual herbs that i know into the scene so I'm going to put in my rosemary and then I'm going to put a bit of the basil and anything else. It's all about taste and that's what this is. So I'm going to take all of that and then I'll just put them into my blender. I will add a bit of onions as well, which I haven't got with me right now. Um, I'm not putting too much because we already had some in when we were seasoning it so i'll put a little bit of rosemary and a bit of basil and any other herbs that i feel like putting not too much but the main thing here is once i put that pepper soup spice pepper soup is ready and then I'll put the magi there and I'm going to blend all of this and that will be me ready for cooking my pepper soup okay so you can see <coughs> what this looks like it actually tries to choke you like it's really that hot and then you just pour it in And once you pour the in, you stay. <clears throat> Another thing you could find, I mean, if we're talking benefits of pepper soup, typical Nigerian um, family, especially if, when a woman just had a baby, I remember how many times my husband's made me pepper soup once I've just had a baby. What it tends to do, especially when it's really hot, you know, we're talking about the weight loss thing. It actually pushes all the clogs of all that blood in your system. I could just had a baby that just sitting there. And I remember, I think with my first daughter, my, my, 
after I first had the baby and the doctors are just wondering what I should be doing to make my baby able to suck the breast, once I had the paper, so the breast came out, started flowing. So those are some of the really good things that could come out of paper soup. Is the heat in it, it actually really spices up your inside and helps, you know, speed up your metabolism. So if you make paper soup one of the main things you eat, especially in African family, you find that it helps to really push the blood flow in the system. So we we'll put the peppers in and all the things that was in it. So the next thing now is <coughs> our pepper soup spice. So again, just get good quantity because this is where all the different things are. The different, I'll say nice heap of it. Because this is what's going to give the smell, the taste, the flavor. Everything comes from that powder. And then you mix it. And once it's all in, now you just cover and allow it to cook and blend in all that lovely, lovely spice that you've just put in. We'll give it about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, yeah. Then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, so remember our pepper soup? We just let it there to on very low heat and it's really, really cooked. And so now you can see that it's, it's definitely taking all the spices. The water is not that much. Can you feel kind of like a bit sticky-ish? That's what it should be like. Now you're going to enjoy. I mean, one, one thing I'm definitely going to say once we're done with this video is I want you to try and send us images of your idea of what a three-course Nigerian meal should be. Yes! So this is ready now, ready for serving. Yes, my friends! Now look at our finished look. This is the oxtail pepper soup.